You are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. Puking pastels. It wasn't pretty. I told them I was hungry and wanted some sweets. Of course, they told me to bugger off and ate the lot themselves. That was clever, Ron. That's been known to happen. Welcome back, Hermione. It's good to be back. Like hell. He's spent the armor! Stop! Drop your ones. Just in time for the Dark Lord. Call him. Talked about this. You do not grab, do you? That's your new friend, Hermione. Drop it! Drop! Put me down! Now! You're right. Fine. Just needs a firm hand, is all. I think you've got an admirer. A voice. Your voice, Hermione. Coming out of it. And what exactly did I say, may I ask? My name. Just my name. Like a whisper. So I took it, clicked it, and this tiny ball of light appeared. And I knew. And sure enough, it floated toward me, the ball of light. Went right to my chest, straight through me. Right here. And I knew it was going to take me where I needed to go. to be young and to feel love's keen sting. Well, come away, everybody. Mr. Weasley is well tended. About time, don't you think? He's using you. How dare you! Besides, I can take care of myself. I doubt it. He's way too old. What? What? That's what you think? Yeah, that's what I think. You know the solution then, don't you? Go on. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. <laughs>